Welcome back to Jamaica News Now. This is where you get your latest news on sports, entertainment, and much more. Please watch, like, share, and of course, subscribe. Now, people, attorneys representing the woman named as person of interest in the Melissa Silvira murder investigation has condemned the decision by the police to publish her name. The woman, Sashana Miller, was named in a public notice by the police on Thursday. But in a statement to the media, Ms. Miller's lawyers have described the decision as an act of intimidation. Sashana Miller is represented by King's Counsel Valerie Nita Robertson. Also named as members of her legal team are Kimberly Whitaker, Jeffrey Reed, and John Mark Reed. In a statement on Friday, the legal team says the action by the police have led to a defamatory portrayal of their client as a person of interest in an ongoing murder investigation. According to the attorneys, Miss Miller is not a person of interest. They say this was confirmed by the police last week. Miller's legal team says by putting her name in the public domain as a person of interest, detectives have given the impression she is in hiding. The attorneys say their client has faced undue intimidation and unwarranted speculation. They say the media attention generated by the press release from the JCF has had a negative effect on the personal and professional life of Sashana Miller. The legal team has threatened to utilize all legal avenues available to them to address what they describe as the damage caused by the unwarranted release of Miss Miller's name as a person of interest. They say the public should respect the legal process and refrain from making baseless assumptions about their client's involvement. The lawyers close by saying Jamaica is not a police state, therefore intimidation and manipulation cannot be in the interest of justice. Efforts to reach King's counsel Valerie Nita Robertson on Friday were unsuccessful. Melissa Silvera is the wife of former West St. Mary MP, the PNP's Jolian Silvera. Mr. Silvera is charged with her murder. He remains in jail and is due back in court on February 8. His attorney, King's counsel Peter Champagny, says his client insists he's an innocent man. People, I really don't have nothing to say now because I don't understand how they must say this woman is a person of interest when she is already in and they are question her already, right? She have a liar. They must say anyone knowing the woman we're about to contact police station when they already know the woman we're about. I don't understand these people. God Almighty, no, I don't understand. Melissa Silvera, may her soul rest in peace. I got to turn to the current cross and I listen to what she has said because she has a lot to talk about. I can't even understand that case, trust me. Joyland Silvera killed his wife. Shot her three or more times. Because that three time thing could be more. And then he proceeded to gather his people around him to cover it up. Or them already moved towards him to help him cover it up. One in the same. Doesn't matter. I want to say it one fact tonight. You can never prescribe logic to the mind of a murderer. There's no such thing as a perfect murder. Something always goes wrong. There's always something that you miss about that whole plan that you're putting in place. Always something that you miss. And more often than not, you miss the intervention of the Holy Spirit. Or you miss the intervention of God's angels. Because I'm going to tell you tonight that the angels were with Melissa that night. Or early morning. When that murderous piece of crap kill the people that beat me motive opportunity and timeline three most important things in trying to determine um a murder or line of a suspect or somebody of interest and those things are the three things we're going to look at to how to establish what happened and i, and I want you to stay with me and trust me because i have some information that i want to give to you Motive, opportunity, timeline. Premeditated murder requires time and effort 
and all of that. Silvera, Mark Golden's chief of security, was last publicly recorded seen with Mark Golden on October 28th. Melissa died November 10th. We still don't know what time. What did he do between October 28th and November 10th? Mr. Fitzbailey, I know you're supposed to have put the timeline together. Where did he go? What was he doing? Did he make a trip out to St. Thomas um, on the piece of land? Mr. Mr. Bailey, where did he go? Who was traveling with him wherever it is he was going? Why was he seen with Mark, Mark Golden between the 28th and uh, at that time? If you can't find any photograph or video, anything with him with an umbrella of a Mark Golden head or walking with Mark Golden or checking the stage and the microphone for Mark Golden between October 28th and November 10th, then please share to the rest of us because we can't find nothing. This is much, much deeper than Jamaica thinks. What did he do? What did he do between that time? We don't know yet. Oh, we do. We do. Planning. Then there was the sister, jump over, Sylvia's sister, bawling like hell at the funeral. You know them cow bawling? You know them, them, them balling where you know say, so, some guilt are going with her? Like she know something? Like she, something going and she know she has the information she want to let it out or she want to tell somebody? There was that. The gun that Sylvia had. There's a particular bullet that was used to kill Melissa. <laughs> I'm going to have a little bit of a hard time Talking about this part, it um, took a little while for me to um, research it, but took a little while. Took a little while for me to, to come to grips with this. The policeman that was first on the scene as an officer of the law took pictures of the scene. I hear that there's some report that people who went there took pictures. But I should tell you that the policeman, the one that got the call, the one that went down there, shouldn't go by himself. He took pictures on his phone. And I should tell Jamaica tonight that among those pictures is a bullet spent shell. Tell us that there's no such thing as a perfect murder. Something always go right. Among those pictures was a spencel from one of the bullets that entered Melissa's body. The bullet that he used is a hollow point bullet. Our bullets that were banned are banned from being used in warfare. By the Hague Convention, it was banned from, by the Hague Convention from 1890 something. The other point bullet is one of them, I you know, all bullets shaped like a dick. But this, the other point bullet, it has a little, really shaped like a dick. It has a little um, slit in it. Well, most people say it's a hole, but it's a slit that, that, that is in the hollow point bullet. And the other point bullet is a deadly bullet. Deadly, deadly bullet. And that's a bullet that he used to kill Melissa. The reason why hunters love those bullets, <clears throat> when that bullet hits its target whenever you fire that bullet and it hits the target once it touches the soft tissue of the target it kind of explode explode like like a mushroom you know like firecracker 
if you put it in the open and it explodes, it um, scatters. But if you put it in the middle of your hand, it explodes and form a, form a kind of a, a cloud, a, form a kind of muscle. But it explodes on impact and it fragments it. It, it deforms. Once it touches the soft tissue, it, it gets deformed and it explodes. And it's a cloud of mushroom. Most times the fragments of, the, uh, of that bullet settles in the bone. So one of the things that he was counting on, because the, before going in, the alapine bullet, when it eats an impact and it explodes and it becomes deformed, it does a lot of damage, but it's also fragmented. It scatters and fragmented. Difficult to, to locate. It, it lodges in places that, unless you're doing an autopsy, it, it's difficult to find it. You know? Because it breaks up in, 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 in fragments. And small, tiny fragments it breaks up in. That wicked, murderous piece of crap fired three or four bullets through the vagina of the woman that gave birth. To his children. How did the police figure it out? Here's the criminal part of this boy plan. He changed the gun barrel. The whole Jamaica know that by now. The point is, when the FLA issues you a gun, I am told that they fire one shot from that gun and they keep that gun keep that, that keep that bullet in safekeeping in case anything should happen and so it was very easy to match it up what I saw got him was that I tell you, so the angels were with Melissa, ensuring that she gets some justice. Because when he fired those shots, they never fragmented and formed that mushroom that it should. Oh no, they came out pretty. I mean, the ballistic footprint was pretty, <laughs> I heard. So, Melissa's angels was taking her home but I'm also ensuring that she gets some justice. The FLA keeps that bullet of the gun signature and keep the gun signature. So therefore, if you change the barrel without the FLA knowing, it's a criminal offense. You, you're going to change your gun barrel, you have to go to the FLA. And you have to submit a report. And investigations have to be done as to why you want to change your gun barrel. So that criminal, murderous, grand crow didn't go to the FLA if change the gun barrel. He's going to look for him criminal friend them and get him gun barrel changed by him criminal friend them. Premeditated murder. Premeditated murder. When him realize that the bullet never fragmented as they should have. Him went and go get him criminal friend them to change him gun barrel for him. So by the time them test out the shell, the spell shell that was found at the scene of Melissa's death, there was a spell shell. The angels planted there. The angels make sure ignorant people them will come there for cover it up the seat. God was in the midst and rightly so. And the little policeman where everybody making a fuss about. He found it. Had a picture of it. And the ballistic footprint that came out of that autopsy was almost was pretty. <laughs>